Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and I'm doing lifestyle and motherhood videos. And today we are going to talk about quite heavy topic, but I did really wanted to film it because I am pretty sure that it can help many, many people out there. It's something that happened to me twice and I have never talked about that here or really to anyone because um, I don't even know know why it just happened you know it's nothing what i can do about that i can change it so i just felt like maybe maybe there is no point about talking about that but i know that many people many women are going through that so if this is gonna be helpful to any of you i am willing to share my two chemical pregnancies which happened quite some time ago so let's jump right into story time you would call it also if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and like and give me a comment what you think about this video and i would love to listen to your stories if you have any to tell okay let's jump right into it so the first one was before we had our first daughter so i have two kids if you don't know and it was at the beginning of my trying to conceive uh, journey so i was really you know excited i was really you know eager it was actually at the very very beginning and at that point i didn't know much about um, anything really i didn't know much about uh, um, you know the conception in the in sense of when's the best time to to do it i didn't know much about you know pregnancy symptoms or anything like that. I was just at the very very beginning. I believe it was like third or third, third second or third month of trying. So very very early. So like two no like oh my god almost a five years ago I think. So quite quite long time ago. And uh, I don't remember any of my symptoms prior to that at all. If I felt different, I think I was kind of flu like symptoms like i was kind of off i think that's what it was and uh, uh one day i did i think i was i was two days late i did a pregnancy test with a first response brand and i saw a very very faint line okay it was so faint that if i made a picture you may not see that but you know women's eyes are very good we always see everything and it's not eva plan because it show up uh, right away it was just very light but it show up right away so it wasn't an eva plan so you know you are all happy right and i went to work and i start bleeding i think you know like few hours after i see that test so you know my enjoyment <laughs> wasn't very long and it was the worst bleeding of my life. Oh my god, I was, it was, okay, TMI over here, okay? It wasn't like a regular period. That's why I know that something, something was over there. So that could be not, not even be a high pregnancy, but like actual pregnancy, because I was already late. So yeah, it was really, really bad, guys. Like, oh, I'm not gonna go into details about the bleeding, but it was way 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 more than a regular monthly period so yeah and it lasted quite much longer too but even the same day i went to uh, work in clinic and done the blood test to see if there is hcg you know level hormone and it came back negative so at that point it was nothing there and even you know the pregnancy test was so so slight that i think um you know by the time it was evening late evening after work i was working the entire day okay Ble bleeding like a pig yeah it was like nothing there already but i know that the test was true because i do not have uh periods like that like never ever so yeah that was at the very beginning of my journey and after that it was almost a year since we actually conceived our uh, first daughter so then you know two pregnancy passed by and uh, the second time it was totally unexpected 
and uh, again I I felt so off like the entire week like you know there's like two weeks right between your ovulation and your period so I felt super super off the second week not the first one but the second off I had no energy um okay maybe I back a little bit I always have symptoms um in my two weeks wait my how how is it called you know that two week wait uh right before your period you know when the woman gets angry for me it's always the same i always have tender breast i um i'm always tired i always no shoes and um you know i have all the pregnancy symptoms every single month okay that's why it was so hard for me to try to conceive the entire year because every single month i had symptoms and i never was pregnant and actually when i was pregnant i had like zero symptoms with my two daughters so that's why that's how i know <laughs> anyway that time i was even more tired okay even even more tired and i had that day i remember i had a horrible cramps like horrible and i was a little bit off because i am not really crampy okay and also when I was showering and the water was falling on my breast, it was like really tender, like more than usual. So that was like, hmm. So I did one test. Sorry, I peed on it. <laughs> and I don't know how I did it, but it did not work. It didn't show anything. So I just put it on this side, okay? I took the second one, you know, a few hours later in the cup. It showed negative, but then after 10 minutes, it showed positive and I know you shouldn't read after but the line was, was visible like you didn't you didn't have to like look you know all around it was very very visible and that was about four days before my mess period so very very early so like I was like oh my god right that's that's crazy but it showed after 10 minutes and I know because I watched the first 10 minutes and I put it down I left the house for the whole day i felt horrible horrible i felt like absolute shit my stomach hurt all day i, I thought i'm gonna throw up everywhere so yeah i was like how is it negative like it can't it can't be so then i came back home and i see that quite visible line but i am very confused at this point right because it didn't show in the first 10 minutes so i am doing another one right after i came back home I put it, you know, on the side and uh, I, t I throw up like immediately after. So, yeah, that was weird. But in the first 10 minutes, uh, again, there was nothing really. So I put my daughters to bed and it took me like 30 minutes. I came back and there is a line. So now two days passed. Well, I did it, let's say, Saturday, Sunday, nothing. I didn't do anything Monday. And I bought first response on Monday and I did it because I checked that first, the very first test that failed and there was a line. Okay, there was two lines. So, yeah, at this point I am very positive that... Surprise, surprise. Anyway, I get the first response because I always had luck with them and I test and the line shows immediately but it's super super faint okay if i showed you a picture you may or you may not see you know when you see like all around you see it you see it in the light it's there okay it's there so that's great but you know in the evening i did start bleeding so you know the whole dream was definitely over and even though we did not try it's mentally very very hard because i had like how many days i had the second time around two days two or three days to actually you know first of all go on the google check uh, the due date i had two days to tell my husband i had two days to start you know planning and to get really attached to that idea so then when you get your period or you miscarriage whatever you call it it's really tough but 
you know, thankfully it was never for me that I was like eight weeks or seven weeks. It was everything at the very, very beginning and the second time even before my missed period. So I think whatever, you know, implanted, it was grown like immediately or, you know, for the ACG level to show up, I think the embryo needs to be implanted. Implanted? Oh my God. Do I say that? <laughs> it's been a while guys it's been a while so yeah that was really you know mentally hard but because we did not plan it and everything like that i feel like it was a little bit easier to swallow it to handle that but if you really try to get pregnant and this happens to you like i feel you i feel how hard it can be because the first time, the first time was absolutely devastated, okay? I was devastated and it's just, it's just so, so sad. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you that, I don't even know why, I think like, it just recently made me like think about that for, for some reason because we don't know if we want a third child or not. You know, maybe I think if we do, it will be like rather sooner than later because the age gap between my girls is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I don't want to go back to the diapers and back to the newborn stage actually no the newborn stage is fine I don't want to back to the toddler stage okay no more toddlers give me a baby from like zero to one year old and take it away for a year and a half and bring it back okay so yeah that's i just wanted to talk about that take it out of my chest because i have never shared it with you and i think um like i said it may be helpful to someone to just listen to the story so this is it for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope i will see you in my next video bye guys